Alright, so in this video we will show you how to run an applet on the console, right, or CMD. To run CMD, and we know the first thing that we need to know do is set the path to where the location of your Java, right, is which we download JDK and it should be under C program files Java and that the latest one under underscore 101 bin so and inside here you may see we are looking for Java C Java some compiler but it also have applet viewer so we need to use applet viewer to run it instead of using Java to run the application because Java we using it with the main right when we have the main method but in applet when we write an application we don't have the main so i'll show you how to write an application right after we set the path now i set the path so i should be able to use java c to compile an applet viewer so we said first thing we need to do is to import java x dot swing dot j applet right and after import we gonna create a class say like my applet extends so we use keyword extends right j applet now this class become an applet when you do extends Open curry presses, close curry presses for the class. Then we start to do the method. But in applet, we don't use main. We're going to use public void and paint. And we have a parameter which is graphics. And we just create a canvas as an instance of this graphics as a name, as canvas. Now, graphic is something that we need to import too, right? Now, when I import graphic, it actually come from different package. When I say package, the highlighted part, this is called package, right? So this is also a package. So what's package? Package pretty much as a path to the file, which is japplet.class, awt.graphics class but we don't have to do that class as a file name right so java is just a folder and awt is another subfolder inside so this is called a package right package just path to your file now once we import them then we can use japplet right here to make my applet becomes an applet then when you run this you see the graphic user interface All right so I'm gonna save this file first so I'm going to put in this path desktop CSC 200 with 3 and when you save this file we want to make sure we switch to all files then we can save it as .java and the file name should be the same as the class name. You may see I'm going to not writing any code, but I just want to show you that where when I extend the applet, it just make the like graphic user interface as an applet to show. So We gotta go to that location on desktop where I save our files. Okay, week three, my applet, right? So I'm going to compile this file. How do we do that? We have to change the directory again, right? CD to this path. Now when I do DAR, this is stand for like listing all the file out. So you see my applet.java in that location, right? All the files in this location. 
now once I want to compile so you just do Java C my app plate dot Java so there's no errors so if there's an error it's going to list all the errors out once I compile no errors it's going to build my applet dot class again there's no main so you're not going to use Java to run in the next step instead you're going to use applet viewer and we have to create a HTML file to embed this if you remember applet is using in the HTML page so we're going to create a new file here and HTML is pretty much just that's is the code for HTML. You it's like scripting. This is called a tag. HTML tag open and close HTML with a slash backslash HTML inside the angle brackets. So this is like open and close curly braces, something like that, right? Now you're going to have to say applet. Okay. Open it and same close applet now inside applet brackets we can say source source pretty much just refer to the class which is my applet dot class right here okay now this is going to be in the same location this file i'm going to call it i'm going to save this in the same location if it's different location, then you have to specify the path instead of just my dot class can be sequence slash wherever location of the dot class is. All right, so I'm gonna save in the same location, and again, I have to do to all files because this is not dot txt. This is gonna be my applet dot html. Okay, that is the web page. You can just do three letters or four doesn't matter now we have the, my applets right and like I said if you launch this <coughs> you have to set security on the browser to make sure it's going to show up but what we want to use is applet viewer to view it so applet viewer my applet.htm So it's the applet tag requires code. Okay, so let me go and edit it. So instead of sort, it's actually code. Okay, we say code attributes, not src. Okay, I just change it to code. All right, so it doesn't error. Just like when you compile. All right, now. Width is required width, so I have to specify the width, like the size of the how big of this embedded screen. So let's say 300 and height 300 because it goes ask for height, so I just do width and height at the same time. So it's open the applets, so that's it. So this is the applet windows, make sense. But there's nothing in there because my code doesn't contain anything. But I just showing that by extends the applet, you pretty much make that graphic user interface windows. Okay? With it we call which we call applet windows right now if you want to draw something right we say use the graphics right which is we name instant as canvas dot we use the method draw right you can draw a string if you want to create a string say hello world now you still need to this is an applet so you're going to specify location where you want to show on that applet window the white window that we just launched right here if you wanted to show 
in the corner top then that's pretty much just x0 y0 x is your first uh, horizontal and y is your vertical starting from top left right zero zero is that top left corner now you need to recompile the code again once when you change right make changes to your code so I'm closing that applet viewer to go back to recompile uh, I happen to have an errors on my code and uh, it's stating that missing semicolon expected you see so I need to put semicolon at the end save the file and recompile it again no more errors now we're going to we cannot use Java to run because this is an applet there's no main we only use Java to run the main class then we can use applet viewer instead and we already create applet viewer which is named my applet dot htm right that embed the dot class to run okay so we don't see any hello world let's verify so we recompile applet.java so what I'm going to do I'm going to delete dot class here to make sure it's create a new one it did create a new one which is having the word hello world maybe zero zero is the problem so let me just increasing this location a little bit because it could be hidden let's recompile that let's delete this recompile again it should create okay now the code should be the same because I embed the same dot class let's run applet there you go so the problem is zero zero is being hidden underneath the applet title so I move it down a little bit 10 10 so you see it's right there right that's about the space 10 10 so that's how we write an applet and compile with Java C and create dot HTM file 